Good afternoon, and thanks for joining us for the first installment of the Halifax Health When It's Critical Summer Safety Series. I'm your host, Owen Shipman. So today we're here to talk about swim safety, which is why we've brought Ashley in, a mother of two children under three, to discuss how important swim safety is to a family. Yes. Well, we live in Florida and it's everywhere. I don't have a pool, my parents have a pool, friends have a pool, and we live close to the beach. And they're just at an age with two kids under three, you can't keep an eye on them all the time and it only takes a second. And it's just so important you have to give them the tools so that if they were to come in contact with water and you can't get to them immediately that they are at least able to save themselves. Healthy Communities as the sponsor for Safe Kids Volusia Flagler we offer swimming lessons scholarships for children here in Volusia County that are in families whose income is at 200 percent or less of the federal poverty guidelines these are families that normally couldn't afford swim lessons. Uh, they're, you know, anywhere from $75 and up to, to get those swim lessons. So these children would never have that opportunity to get swimming lessons from a certified instructor. According to statistics uh, in the U.S., we have uh, 10.4 million residential pools and uh, 309,000 public pools. So, and according to the CDC, there's 10 deaths a day related to uh, drownings in the United States. Parents know their children very well, so if after swimming, whether it be in the pool or the ocean, a few hours down the line, your child is not acting themselves. So more tired than usual, vomiting, breathing faster or harder than normal, complaining of a bad headache, or having kind of bluish discoloration around their lips or their fingertips, their toes. Those are some signs that should raise red flags and they should contact either their pediatrician or better yet bring them to the closest emergency room for evaluation to make sure that this isn't a sign of um, trouble breathing and what we know as uh, most people know as secondary drowning. Halifax Health has a great mission just to keep our communities healthy and living a healthy lifestyle. There are so many different options out there for education that are only a phone call away. Please feel free to reach out at any time to any of these agencies and we'll get you the information that we need. Thanks again and look forward to our next installment of the Halifax Health When It's Critical Summer Safety Series. This has been your host, Owen Chin.